I'm making a St. Bridget's cross. Now, you get um, one rush and you hold it up straight like this. Then you get another rush and you hold it there like you're making a cross. Then you get this rush and you fold it over that way. So it's kind of like that. Then you get another brush and hold it up like you did with the first one next to it. But then you'd fold that one down as well. Then you turn it so it's like that. And you'd grab another brush and you'd fold it over that way. Then you turn it again and you just keep on folding and turning the rushes. And then you can stop you can stop turning and folding once you're satisfied with the shape and the size of the cross. Now that we've done the body of the cross, it's time to secure the edges like this. So we did it with the rushes. So you get a rush and you flatten it out. Then you put it through around the middle and hold it tight. Then you can just start winding it around. So it's kind of tied then. You keep winding it around about two or three times. Then you get the end of this rush and you make a space between the last rush of the body and you gently stick it in there. Then you gently move it down and neaten it up. And then you've tied and finished your body of the St. Bridget's cross. Okay, now all that's left for us to do is to tidy it up by trimming it. Here, I'll cut it around here. We can also tidy the knots um, just by snipping the end of them off. And there, we've finished our St. Bridget's cross.